Alright, uh, Baraka Da Yahweh, Baraka Da Yahweh Shah, Baraka Da Yahweh, Baraka Da Yahweh Shah, Call Hello Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and double honors to the apostles of great millstone and salutations to you brothers that's pushing the word in sincerity and in faith. Alright, I wanted to get into a quick video. Um, we'll get into a video um, based off of this uh, word I, I looked at up in the Strong's, uh, well, not the Strong's Concordant, no, it was the uh, Adam Online. So it was a word. And I had it on paper for a while, the word survivor, which the word survivor is a noun. In a legal sense, it means one who outlives another. But um, what caught me was the meaning. It says, one who has a knack for pulling through adversity. And some scriptures came to mind, and I just wanted to uh, just bring them out. But uh, the key word in that definition was adversity, which we're going to go into a few scriptures on adversity. And... um. A uh, survivor is one who has a knack for pulling through adversity. Now, the elect, hopefully, I'm a part of the elect. Hopefully, brothers that watch this video are part of the elect. But that 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 uh that knack for pulling through adversity, um, it only comes of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Now, I want to bring this scripture out real quick. This is in the um, uh, Sirach, the eleventh chapter. Bring this out. Um, Sirach 11 verse 14 It says It says um, Prosperity and adversity Life and death Poverty and riches Come of the Lord So on one end you have prosperity And on the other end you have adversity Life, death They all come of, of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah So in order to be able to pull through this adversity It's of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah now, since we're in Sirach, let's go through this uh, other scripture. Sirach 2 and 1. I'm going to start at the first verse. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art Change to a lower state, for gold is tried in the fire and and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Now I just read um this these are a few precepts and it it brought out a lot of things. First thing that stuck out, um, cleave unto him and depart not away. So we supposed to cleave unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in the day of adversity and part not and, and depart not away. Um, then the next thing it says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. So whatever things are brought upon you, and you're dealing with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you got to take it cheerfully. You know, you got to take it cheerfully, and you got to be patient. And the word patience means to, patient means to suffer. Or patience means to suffer, so you have to suffer through it. And when you're changed to a lower state, you know, that's a part of your suffering. That's the part of the Lord trying you. Um, that's a part of your adversity that you have to deal with. Um... Now I want to bring this other scripture out. This is a scripture that we bring out a lot in regards to the two-thirds. But there's another part to it. This is uh, uh, Zechariah 13 verse 8. And it says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. So that, that, that third part that's left therein, that's brought through that fire, um, that's tried like gold, that, that's refined, and, and tried like gold, those, those right there are your survivors because they made it through that adversity. Now, it's a quick precept that I want to bring out um, prop in, the, in the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 17, verse 3, it says, The finding pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tries the hearts. And the Lord is going to try our hearts, which means the Lord is going to try our minds. He's going to, he's going to put us through a situation, a very difficult situation. That's why the scriptures say, Enter ye in the straight gate, for broad is the gate and wide is the way that leadeth to destruction, but that straight gate is a, a is a position of difficulty. 
you know and that's how we're gonna be uh, 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 um, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be tried in a position of difficulty we're gonna go through some difficult situations you know if we want to see how about Shimei Shah, we're gonna have to deal with that that adversity all right the next scripture because we we moving through this real quick um the next scripture is Isaiah the fourth chapter four and one I'm gonna start at four and one which is a good chapter I'm, I'm a good a, a, a good um prophecy of what's to come but what happens after that uh verse uh Isaiah 4 verse 1 it says and in that day seven women shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only let us be called by thy name to take away thy reproach in order for that to happen you have to bear that adversity man you have to deal with that adversity that you got to go through. You have to be a survivor. And it says, In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be ex excellent and calmly for them that are escaped of Israel. Keep in mind the survivor, one who has a knack of pulling through adversity. You have to escape from something. You've escaped from the nuclear missiles. You've escaped from the martial law. You've escaped from the hour of temptation that's going to come upon the whole world. That's why it says, uh, uh, it says, In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and calmly for them that are escaped of Israel. And it shall come to pass, prophecy, that he that is left in Zion, and he that remaineth in Jerusalem, the survivors, shall be called holy, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. You know, and that's, that's, that's a prophecy. Those are the men that had a knack for pulling through that adversity. Those are the survivors. Now, um, the last precept that I want to bring out is going to be 2nd uh, Ezra, uh, the ninth chapter. 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, and the 8th verse. This is 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, the 8th verse. It says, okay, I'm going to read up. It says, um... Five. It says, it says, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved, every, all the survivors, and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. Because that's the only uh, way you're going to be saved is, is by your works and by the faith wherein he believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Right? And that, that links up with um, what I just read in um, Isaiah 4 and 1. In that day shall the celebrants uh, be beautiful and calmly and excellent for them that escaped of Israel. Because those men dealt with that adversity. Those men are the survivors. That's the elect. Scriptures talk about the elect, or, or in the Greek, electos. Um, though that, that's the elect. They, they're the survivors, man. You know, Esau always talk about somebody that, you know, you survived the war, or you survived 9 11, or you survived this and you survived that. Well, there's going to be a greater reward for those that survived the end of this world. The end of uh, uh, Esau's world, and, and 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 live to tell about the world to come. Live to tell about Esau's world in the time to come. Those are the survivors, man. And that's why I'm gonna read the scripture again. It says, "And everyone that shall be saved, delivered. Everyone that shall be delivered, and shall be able to escape by his works. You know, doing these videos, going out on the highways and hedges, prophesying the downfall of America." Standing so uh, stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, teaching and proclaiming the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, those are the works and, and, and those is and, and that's by faith. Whereby ye have believed, you believed in this word, that's why you went out there and you did this. Shall be preserved from the said perils. What what are the said perils? Like we I mean, we mentioned we did I, I ran it back a list. Martial law, the chip, uh, uh the famine. The concentration camps, the nuclear destruction, the wars uh, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. 
And once you're in the Lord's land, once you're in the Lord's borders, you are a survivor because you went through that adversity that the Lord uh, uh, spoke aforetime through his servants, the prophets, and, and, and you did what you did to survive, man. You were a survivor, man. So, you know, that's, the, I just, like I said, I just wanted to do a, do a short video, the survivors of Israel, the survivors of Yasha Allah, right? You know, and, and, and those are the men that have uh, braved the day of adversity. They had that knack of pulling through adversity. Ultimately, it was the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al that guided them through that adversity, man. And that's why we, we do these works. And that's why we have this faith, man. And Lord's will, we can keep them. We can keep it until the end, until the very end, you know. But uh, with that, I just give all praises to Yahweh Bashim al Call hello, Yahweh Bashim al and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to you brothers that's pushing the word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.